And with that being said, um, in your own words, what is a physician assistant? I tell people uh, that we are like the residents who never go away. So that really works well with physicians and nurses and other people in the healthcare profession. You have to massage that a little bit for the lay public who may not even understand what a resident is at the end of the day. But when you think about it, uh, and I've been told this by physicians that I've worked with in both emergency medicine as well as ID, that we reach the level of a senior resident, a very senior resident, and what's nice about it is we provide those physicians that we work with that, that continuity. They can teach us things like they do residents, but the problem is the residents then leave after a few weeks. And um, what we provide the physician with is someone who, oh yeah, I remember you taught me how to do that. I know how you like the neuro exam done. I know how you like your documentation. And so they can rely on us to, to provide that continuity of care with their patients as well. So that's how I explain physician assistance. To the public sometimes, you have to tell them, we're like nurse practitioners, but we're trained more in the medical model that physicians are. So that's sort of how I explain it to them. I have to say that in the last two or three years, when I just say I'm a physician assistant, I really don't get patients asking me what that is anymore. They're just kind of happy to see me. What would you say the attributes are of an ideal PA? Well, obviously empathy for the, the patient and putting patient-centered care first. Um, attributes, obviously you have to be able to think on your feet and have a good sort of general knowledge of pathophysiology and that goes without saying, right? Every healthcare professional should have a good knowledge of what it is they're practicing. Um, but I think even more so for PAs is we, we have to know what we don't know and when to ask for help. Um, the nicest thing about being a PA for me has been to see and acknowledge that I'm growing all the time and I'm becoming more confident all the time. And it's, it's great, we, we generally get residents, uh, we call them fellows in ID who come through and I then treat them as my staff for a little while and report to them. And I think they're always surprised at how much I already know about infectious diseases. And I certainly know as much as most of the general med medicine residents who come through. And who would have thought that about me like 12 years ago if you told me that I was going to be uh, uh, practicing at that kind of level, I would have told you you were crazy. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, reporting on the stories and now yeah. they're actually uh, living it almost. Yeah, it's, it's, it's even I wake up and wonder if this is all been a dream.